I'm gonna hit you with this little quick acapella that I did for Emerson College a couple years ago for a civil rights song celebration for 50 years, and then I'm gonna jump into that beat. All right, check it out. First, let us remember. It is not possible to have an appreciation for the amalgamation of civil rights legislation and outcomes without first pausing to remember the assassination of black leaders like Martin and Malcolm. Now, son, please do not confuse my passion for African-American activism as pacifism for when I witnessed the division in classes and passing kids at the cafeteria table split up more painful than sadomasochism. <laughs> Listen, if Brown v. Board of Education put an end to segregation and tell me why I see no brown skin faces sitting at this table with all these Megans. <laughs> Hi, Megan. Face it. You have locked yours at one time or another when a brother from a different color has approached your door. Even though it's not 1954 no more, sometimes it sure feels like only a few years before 64. For sure. We made improvements, but we got further to go until I no longer need to be proved my baby boy might grow up just like Emmett Till. Still, I have to teach him stand his ground for all these races. Might attempt to make him turn it down like Jordan Davis. And these are just the faces on the news and never famous, but for every Trayvon Martin, there's 100 unsolved cases. Mass incarceration never places the plantation. Boatloads of African Americans like slave ships. So thanks, Miss Alexander, but we got much worse than before, because now they literally making billions on the job for Unicor. Dressed in uniforms, be sure that these federal institutions, civil rights are well denied by this legal prostitution. So what's the solution? I say let's start with college presidents. The ivory tower needs more melanin, more estrogen, more feminine. And just in case you might have confused me as a new version for some Eminem, <laughs> well, I've never candy-coated up my lyrics. What's the benefit? <laughs> See, that would be irrelevant in a time when non-intelligent Lyrics and rap music is what they peddle in as the precedent. Suppressing the positive messaging of the original four elements of hip-hop as a culture now subjected to their censorship. Well, I am here self-evident, no cursing, non-repetitive, and instead of just battling rappers, well, these days I'd rather mentor them. <laughs> Against all these impediments and prejudice, confederate flags, they flew with pride as they tried to produce evidence of race superiority through the majority of schools. They tried to civilize and natives and prove Africans were fools. See, universities were tools for the racist spewing madness. But before them land-grant colleges, well, there was nothing much for blackness. I said before Barack Obama, well, there was nothing much for blackness. But now we got me asking, who's accountable at the moment? For civil rights, it's unacceptable. Guantanamo's still open. Still, he got me hoping civil rights are not ignored. Sure, 10-10 is not the answer, but at least the minimum is now more. So what do we have in store for all these kids from urban areas when separate is not equal, but the schools are still inferior? Yeah. See, the barrier to becoming a college mathematician is when kids are passing calculus, but can I do addition? Yeah. See, when I, I was young in school, I used to listen to new addition. I was like, can you stay in the rain? I wanted to be just like them. If they told me, I'd have listened. So where are the role models, the athletes, the models, producers from tomorrow, show us scholars that there's honor in a way to clock them dollars. Beyond just popping collars and beyond just popping bottles, beyond Beyonce on a surfboard, there's more to work for than McDonald's. Whoa. See, we can solve our problems. <laughs> See, we can solve our problems with more diversity can tell. Now I'm gonna end it right here because I know there's some beats in the back that are ill. Because <laughs> I know there's people that want to cipher and I could go all night long. So DJ Dasmo, why don't you just play my next song? Hey. Oh, yeah.